Alright, it's 22nd of April. It's just storming, raining all day long. No gardening was done. I did want to come out here and check. See how everybody's looking. It's actually fishing right now. I wanted to see if the, uh, the stuff that Granny planted come up. The peas. So let's look at everybody right quick. Alright. Everybody looks okay. Looking good, looking good. Peppers is looking good. Still a little short. That red bell pepper plant on the right there. Starting to look good. Cherry tomato plants. That one's looking real good. Looking good, looking good, looking good. Alright, so I can't really can't really see anything's coming up. It's not good. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, no. That's just a leaf. That is a weed. It's coming up. It's coming up all right. These things, these things are jerks. I can't think of what they're called, but they're jerks. Coming up out of there. Here. I don't know, it's not looking good. It's starting to rain. I'll just give it a couple days and give her a call. So she's gonna have to replant. Alright, it's getting raining pretty hard now. Adios. Alright, so I was actually out here yesterday, but I didn't record because I was I was upset. Uh the short version is April is always a really crappy month and this year's no exception. So, so today I, you know, I told my boss that I needed a leave of absence. So that's what I did. And I stressed out about the garden. I came out here. I did a little bit. But it's about to get out of control. I'm going to show you what's going on right now. All right, so nothing came up through here I need to call her and tell her the bad news she kind of probably already knew this because she was out, actually out here the other day I was told all right my section is gonna have to be tilled it's a little wet as you can see all that nut grass is coming up and they're jerks and they'll take over a lot quicker than you think they will so that's got to be taken care of I weeded uh, some yesterday with the tomatoes and whatnot. That's gonna have to get finished. I dusted my uh, Ichiban eggplant because they were having problems. And I dusted a pepper plant because it was having problems. Had ants growing up. It was, I was very upset, very upset with that, because I was upset anyways. See, I had that rock there, and they were like, they were just, it was, he was looking bad. So I dusted him, he looks a lot better. Whopper Pepper's coming around, I was talking to this lady at work, and she said these get really big. So I'm excited about that. Get that out of there. So yeah, I mean, it's on the verge of really getting out of control. My okra didn't come up. I'm not pleased about that, but I, you know, whatever. My squash didn't come up. That's also a first. I usually, uh, they're usually pretty good about coming up. Um, but nothing, nothing, nothing. But I'll replant those, that's not a big deal. Let's see, there's one, two, yeah, this should be yeah, nothing. Cause it's been about a week. Uh, my zucchini came up. That was good. That was very good. See, look at them. Look at them. That's probably enough, honestly. But I'll plant the other two hills. Replant the other two hills here. And here, I'll give them another day. So, yeah. Yeah, man. That's the, that's the bikini right there. That's going to be awesome. 
Um, but yeah, tomorrow, like, pretty much all this is going to have to be killed. And I didn't put out any, I didn't redo the mulch. That just didn't come to pass. The world got in my way. I need, it just, it's about to get out of hand if I don't really do something. But I'm on leave. Um, it's not an indefinite leave, but it might. And another thing I did, I did some weird things. Yeah, I told him, I was like, look, man, yeah, I got to take take a minute. This was all the way down through here. That'll that these guys ain't no big deal. I'll till them under. That's nothing. And then the colander. When I got out here, there's about like, that much rainwater in it. And it's turned over. And there was a dead mouse floating in it. Very disturbing. Very disturbing. He would swole up. Yeah, so I dumped him out. And that's what I sit on when I do my weeding. I'm going to finish weeding through here. All the way to get even the Irish potatoes are going to get weeded. And then I may or may not start tilling. I don't know. But it's like things are getting out of hand. Things are getting out of hand. I'm not, you know, stressing me out. That and everything else. But uh, let's to zoom in on it. This right here, it's called a dewberry. They're jerks, man. They run all their their vines are kind of like blackberries. They got briars on them, but if you get right at the base of them, they don't have briars. Man, you gotta like really want to dig those up. In fact, I'm probably just gonna slip off and get me a trial to help me with this weeding. But uh, yeah, a lot got to be done. Um, you'll probably see the end result. Rabbits should be coming out to hang out with me. And people are like, oh, you got rabbits? All eat your vegetables? No, they won't. Okay, they won't. This is what rabbits like to eat. They like to eat clover. They love this. They love it. It's all through here. Look at all that clover. Man, they'll come out, hang out, eat clover. Come right out of Come right out of there. That whole it's, place is lousy with them. They eat clover. I don't care about these vegetables. And they better not develop a taste for them either. Or there will be consequences and repercussions. But yeah. I'm just gonna get started. I mean, I, there's a lot. There's a lot that, like, I'm really stressed out about. There's a lot of things I don't have any control over. But this this garden is not one of them. I, I can, you know, I can, I can. Uh, I mean, there's and some things I can't control about this. Like, I can't can't control my uh, okra didn't come up. I just have to replant. Can't control that my peppers haven't come up. I'll probably uh, use some of the pots that the tomatoes came in and do it that way. That ain't, that'll, that's probably my best bet, come to think of it. Dig up some of this dirt right off the end where I showed you that dewberry. Dig him up proper. And uh, put some worms in with the dirt. Worms make things awesome. I was pulling up worms yesterday. I stuck them down in my tomato plants, pulled the mulch back, stuck them in there. They're going to be awesome. There's gonna be tomatoes galore. But, uh, yeah, man, I'm gonna leave. I feel better already. All right, let me get started. Yeah, I mean, I didn't get as much done as I wanted to get done, but I uh, I got a little done. Here, let me show you. So, yeah. Um, one thing that did happen, you know, I got it to, to here, so that's even. And that's really all I cared about. Um, I got this paint can pretty full of worms. There will be a sanity fishing trip tomorrow. Okay. Sanity fishing trip tomorrow. And there is daylight left. But what I want to do is I want to go to that, uh, that firewood. They got pushed over and roll those back and see if there's any worms under there before they get dark. But uh, I didn't get any tilling done. I'll do that in the morning before I go fishing. And then in the afternoon, hopefully there'll be some, uh, you know, there'll be some uh, fish. Fish for you guys to, to see. So, yeah. But uh, I'm tired. I feel better, a lot better than I did. April sucks, man. I don't know. I don't understand. 
I don't understand why. Uh, but I mean, the advantage is, you know, I feel a lot better in the summertime. But uh, I don't know why bad things happen in April. I don't. I don't get it. I don't get it. But it does. Every year. Whatever. The rest of April's been canceled. I'm gonna leave. Um, and I'm gonna enjoy myself. I felt. So, I don't think I understand. I was really upset. But I'm not now. I'm not as upset. Not really upset at all, actually. I'm excited about going fishing. I gotta go and check that firewood situation out. Because there's these white grubs, man. I'll show you one if I catch them. That uh, catfish love them. They love them. Anywho. Adios. Alright, so it's May 2nd. As you can see, things have been retilled all the way up to my, my stuff. I've got to replant all that stuff. Because none of it came up. Granny, she's just going to come out here and she's going to replant her stuff. Because none of it came up. And I am about to dust those damn Irish potatoes. And till all this. Side of None of my peppers came up. Some more of the zucchinis coming up. Where are we at? Boom. Zucchini on that end. And some more in the middle. Come on, Zoom, work with me. Uh, some more in the middle. And then none on this end. So we're going to give those guys another day and I'll probably replant. No squash, no peppers. I'll replant that probably here in a minute. Alright, yeehaw. Alright, so quite a bit has been done actually. It's been a day. After I turned this off last, I started tilling between everything like my dad did that one time. And then when I, right when I got through doing that, Granny came out here to replant. And I'm glad she did. Because she had those five rows of peas jam-packed. And I talked her in to spacing them the distance of that shovel that I've been using so there'd be room to till down between and I offered to do that which I will do but like what she, what now with the what she had in mind was crazy talk and all them all them peas jam packed together no that would ruin your gardening experience okay you want to make things easy on yourself I understand and not everybody has the, the space required to do that all the time I mean there are other things you can do you can buy a real narrow tiller for one thing they got all kinds of goofy things you can use um, you can uh, you can put you know mulch down between everything right after you plant it all right there, there's all kinds of things you can do but for me make the rows wide enough for me to till down between it just it, it's just better all right let me show you what all else went on Alright, so, this was, this was added on, okay, and the reason for that was the granny making her rows so wide, the, the, um, there wasn't enough room for my stuff, so this was filled up, it's not been planted, it's not going to be planted for, uh, for a couple weeks till her stuff comes up, but, I mean, the first row started, started right here. All right, and I helped her. I popped the line, ran the string, dug the trench. She come along behind me and very meticulously planted her pea patch. Okay, very meticulous. It's her nature. And then look, this was the second row, on down, third row. Plenty of space for me to till between. It's gonna be great. And then this is her last row right here. All right, so, yeah. And this, you know, and another thing that I just planted is I just, uh, these three spots here, she and I replanted the uh, squash because I wanted to make sure I was doing it right because it never came up. This uh, okra got replanted because it never came up. I just did that. I hit hit the hit this with some pond water, and I've been uh, remulching from where 
was tilled. I'm facing the dust. I need to dust my, or not my, but I need to dust my dad's potatoes. Because, yeah, he wants Irish potatoes. Lovely. But yeah, so quite a bit's been done. It needs to be raked. Get all the grass out. I mean, all kinds of stuff needs to happen. Have this one left to do. So yeah, it's been busy. It's been a busy couple days. Oh, and another thing I did. Look, look, look how awesome my zucchini's looking. Look at him. Look at him coming right up. Look at these guys. Look at him. I hit them with some pond water too to make them awesome. I'm fizzing to uh, stick some seeds down in there. And then after that, I got some uh, um, peppers I want to start in, in some of these, these leftover plant pots I bought. And my tomatoes came in and whatnot, and then I'm gonna start them off in that. So, anyways, I mean, a lot's, a lot's going on. A lot's going on. I'm supposed to get back to it. Actually, I'm supposed to eat and then get back to it. I might not eat, I don't know. But I gotta get back to it one way or another. This has got to get done. And it's just little old me and Granny. Yeah, see, I don't know what's coming, but I do. It's gonna be zucchini running rampant I'm talking about rampant it's gonna be everywhere man i'm fitting to, i'm fitting to, i'm fitting to plant a little more why not why not all right so there's this okay look how awesome they look look how awesome they look man i hit them with some of that pond water there's this now it's gonna be this it's gonna be this how gracefully i can get on my seat Oh my goodness, I'm tired and sore. Tired and sore. Always. <laughs> Always. But I, you know, that's just the price you pay. It's just the price you pay. For, uh, success is a strong word. <laughs> but it's, the, it's just the price you pay. The price you pay live yeah I don't need that get out of here get out of here man I get so tickled doing this garden and stuff I know it's it's like old man like old before your time you know if those come up if these come up man this is this is this is this is this is, this is too much it's too much. Boom. And there. Man, this is this is gonna. Man, that's gonna be too much damn zucchini. Part of my language. I'm finna scrape this with the hoe, and then I'm finna hit it with uh, this mulch. I don't want to weed this crap over here either. I don't want to do it. But, uh, man, there's going to be so much zucchini. This is, this is, uh, I can't believe I just did that. It's going to be running rampant. Running rampant. Oh, see that easy. Man, I hear something over there. I wonder if the rabbit's gonna come join me again. Oh my goodness. I should be using two hands. This is why you wanna stay after this garden stuff. And you just Boom. Boom, it's gone. Once this crab gets big, man, now I have to, I have to struggle. I'm so tickled doing this stuff. And this garden, it's gonna be so glorious. It's gonna be so glorious. I love it, I love it. And they say it's gonna rain. I bet it don't rain a drop. I really, I really don't. I bet it don't rain a drop. 
probably need to fill up my pond water and hit everybody again. I mean, look, look, I found an old piece of broken tile. It was broken in such a way I was like, you know what? Let's, uh, let's save a little handful of mulch. So I just did that. Just did that. Will it work? I mean, I, there wasn't nothing growing out of the tile when I put it there. I don't see why I wouldn't. But, uh, I got a few more mulching projects to do. I probably should hit this squash with a little bit more uh, pond water. I need to remulch this guy here. I think th I think this one's the early girl. Early girl. She's already got blooms on her. And this cherry tomato plant. She <laughs> he's already got blooms on him. Look at this. Look. Zoom. Zoom. There we go. Zoom, baby. All right. I need to get back to it. But it's coming along. It's coming. It's coming along. Oh my goodness! Zoom out. Jesus God. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's coming along. It's coming along great. Look, look, this is weird. Look at this. Look. A bird pooped on the owl. <laughs> uh, that's terrible. <laughs> I should probably get that off. But, uh, yeah, I gotta do some more mulching. And I gotta do some more dusting. I'm fishing to grab the, the dust. You see, I got some of my dust off uh, my eggplant when I hit him with the water. He's starting to come around. He's starting to come around. Uh, he, he got pretty, uh, pretty dinged up. Pretty dinged up, but he's standing up straight. Uh, that leaf, oh my goodness, that leaf there looks a lot better than it did. He's coming around. He just, he's got a little, little dinged up. These guys here, they all look good. Or better, they don't look good. They look better. I'm going to hit them with some dust. Stand by. All right, so we're gonna see how gracefully I can do this. <laughs> I, you know, anything's possible. All right, I got my dust. Put on. Ugh, hang on. All right, put on these gloves. It's a precaution. My hands get pretty dinged up, so I don't want to get the stuff in. You know, and it's not like it's probably, it probably wouldn't hurt. I actually used to put this on my dog to kill fleas and ticks. But as she got older, it really would piss her off. So I, I, I just got the, we just went ahead and got the front line. Because he ain't not lived until you've had a ticked off chocolate lab. They're actually pretty vindictive dogs. They will seek revenge if given the opportunity. But yeah, that's all I'm doing. Just dusting them. Hitting them with the dust. The bug dust. And folks are like, oh, well, it's, it's chemicals. It's not organic. Well, look, man. You must have not have taken the class called organic chemistry. Okay, you remember that? Organic chemistry? Oh, yeah. See, I just dusted the heck out of somebody. A little black speck that was crawling right there, yeah. Boom. I sure hope my dad appreciates this. I'm sure he does. Anything he doesn't have to do, he appreciates. Yeah, see there? Boom. That's all I was to it. Shook it out to this little hole right here in the corner. Try not to give you any product placement. Alright, next thing I'm going to do. Like I said, just put the mulch out through there. But I wanted to give you that dusting tutorial right fast. And I got a whole long spiel on, you know, organic, uh, <laughs> organic farming. I actually used to work on an organic farm, but that's a whole long story that I'm not. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I have the strength to tell it right now. It's amusing, it's an amusing story. It was a good experience. Uh, I'm glad I don't work there now, that's for sure, but I learned a lot of tricks, a lot of tricks, uh, my time on the organic, organic farm, but the trick number one, most important lesson, <laughs> is organic is a bunch of bullcrap, it's a bunch of bullcrap, I'm telling you man, 
I'm not gonna go into the details, but it's just like, like, it, well, I mean, I guess I did the most obvious one, like organic chemistry, organic chemistry. It's a whole long big to do, man. That's uh, that it, it just all uh, uh, oh, there's no chemicals. Organic chemistry, okay? It's a class. It's actually, I think it's several different classes you can take. I think you take organic chemistry one, two. I think it goes up to three. Very complicated stuff. All about organic chemicals. So don't give me that. Don't give it. Don't. No. I know better. Okay. I've seen the elephant. All right. Let me uh, get back to this. What else I wanted to do? Oh yeah, the mulch. Finish the mulch. And then I might just show you the end result of that and call it a day. I really feel like there's something else though. Hang on. Oh, the, the peppers. Yeah, I'm going to show you that too. But let me start with the mulch. All right, quick. Y'all seen me mulch before. It's not that exciting. But I'm going to do that and then I'm going to do the peppers. All right, so, yeah. I'm back. I moved down here to the, to the, uh, wow. Up, up, up. Yeah, so I moved down here to the far end of the, uh, the garden where the dirt just got thrown up, uh, when I was tilling. I'm just gonna put some dirt in here. Minus the uh, grass, if I can help it. Filling it up to that first, the first little lip inside here, and then gonna hit it with the pond water. A whole product placement. Then we're fizzing to. Uh, Put the seed in it. These guys here, right here. See that? Boom! Sweet eggplant. Now look, and I've I've done this before, but it was with potting soil, and it's on that organic farm that was aforementioned. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> it's been a while. I haven't worked there in a good long while, and I don't miss it at all. at all this me doing this much more rewarding working where i am and doing this much more rewarding and lucrative working on that organic farm nuts to that nuts to that that was just just no it was weird though man we'd have transients come through these hippie chicks man and they'd set them up like an outpost and that uh, product placement there, sorry about that. And um, man, and they'd like, they'd, man, they'd say all kinds of, they'd be like, I believe in the healing power of crystals. And I'm like, crystals with cheese? And I, no, no, crystals from the earth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were weird, man, they were weird. They weren't as slutty as you'd have thought. Uh, but, you know, whatever. I really, I, honestly, I didn't try that hard because at the time I had a really uh, bubbly, wonderful, bouncy girlfriend that just, it was kind of awesome. I, I must admit, she was kind of awesome. God, God rest her soul. God rest her soul. But, uh, yeah, there's, there's four. She's not dead, by the way, but when her, when her time comes, you know, may, may the Lord rest her in peace. <laughs> Now she made her a rich old man. Now, uh, last I checked, somewhere outside of Florida, doing uh, doing her thing, and that's you know, hey, that's perfectly fine by me. I could not be happier for her. Could not be happier. All right. Boom. There's that. Lined up pond water time.
I guess a little product placement won't hurt. Oh, wash it away. That run down. Come back when it's done that and just poke the seeds in. Poke them in. Poke them in. Whew, fun stuff. Fun stuff. And if they if it works, fine. If not, I don't care. I got hot banana pepper plants. These are sweet banana pepper plants. And while I like both, I like the hot better. So it's just it's it's just whatever at this point. Whatever happens, happens. All right, I'll be back. All right, so I moved them over by the end where I'm gonna plant them. Give everybody a seed. So I've got two because I didn't feel like putting those little bitty seeds back into the uh, into the bag. I just didn't feel like doing that. So you can see the seeds. I only got two. So we're just gonna see how. Ah! Hopefully I can do this. Push it down in there, cover it up. I have done this before, but it was on an organic farm with potting soil. Oh, that's sticking to my finger. Oh, it's been going well. Yeah, we're good. Push it down in there, cover it up. Push it down in there. Cover it up. Oh, get down in there. I don't know about that one. Now I'm not have problems. Sounds good. Give that one the old thumb. Cover it up. Thumb. Cover it up. I think it's stuck to my thumb. Alright, whatever. I don't care. I don't care. They'll either come up or they won't. I don't care because I got more seeds in there and then I got uh, when I, hey look look that's gonna be a mammoth jalapeno pepper I'm excited about him I gave him some mulch while I, I was away I got this little mulching project done so that's zucchinis that's not peppers though but look at look at these guys hot banana pepper hot banana pepper hot banana pepper hot banana pepper so that's plenty. And then there's there's some down on that end. I oh, can't show you that. It's got the no product placement. Got my dust right in the middle of the shop. Can't have that. Oh, I just dusted my shoe. Worst things have happened. I don't think that stuff will hurt me, but I don't want to take a chance. Cause I mean, it's still chemicals, you know. Is a hot banana pepper plant. See him coming on. That's actually, I'm pretty sure that's a red bell pepper plant. And then, hot banana pepper plant there. So yeah, um, according to, uh, according to, golly, I know y'all love that. Ugh. So according to the thing, it's almost, uh, I'm done in my last two minutes worth of recording, so I'm gonna stop there. I got quite a bit done over the past couple days and I'll definitely be back next Saturday to see if those peas have come up definitely alright that's it for a while uh, adios everybody